3D Pickup is designed for students who are learning about three-dimensional shapes. The purpose of this game is to deepen your ability to work with shapes by combining both second and third dimensions. The materials needed for this game include the 3D Pickup game cards with these card types, shape name, real life picture, net, face or base, and cross sections. The physical 3D figures need to be collected before the game. You need two of each of the following shapes cube, rectangular prism, triangular prism, pyramid, cylinder, cone, sphere, and hemisphere. Pre-game play helps orient players to the card types and physical objects. Encourage players to take a few minutes to match the 3D objects to their name, pictures, and nets. The object of this game is for players to claim as many 3D shapes as they can by building sets of four cards that correspond to the same 3D shape. To begin, place all the 3D dimensional figures on the side of the playing surface. Deal six cards to each player. The player with the birthday closest today will go first. Start your turn with six cards in your hand. At most, one card will be taken from the discard pile. This must be done before the remaining cards are taken from the deck. To make a set, you must have four cards that contain only one of the following types of cards. 3D shape name, net, face or base, cross section, and real life picture. If the students playing play the word prism, they must distinguish between a triangular and rectangular prism. Players may collect cards for more than one set at a time. A player can lay down cards for a set if they have two or more cards that belong to the same set. When you complete a set, you must do the following. Explain how all four shapes match the same 3D shape. If you successfully defend your cards, collect a 3D object from the center that matches your card set. If you cannot successfully defend your cards, put any cards you cannot justify back in your hand. Once both 3D objects have been claimed, you can make a set for the 3D object, but only score one point for the set. Once you complete your turn, discard one card. Play continues to the left. The game continues until all 3D objects have been claimed. Player one lays down the real life picture of the sphere and the name card for the sphere. Player two lays down the word cube and the cross section of a cube. Player three lays down the word cube and the real life version of a cube. And they also lay down a hemisphere, the real life version, and the word card. Play continues in this way until a player collects a full set. At this time, the player must describe how each card is a part of a set that matches one of the 3D shapes. If a player is successful, the player takes the 3D object that matches. If the player is unsuccessful, any cards that cannot be justified must go back into the player's hand. Gameplay continues until player one completes a set. Player one explains that they have the cross section, the name, a real life version, and the net of a cube. Therefore, they get to claim the 3D object of a cube. Players continue taking turns until all the 3D objects are gone. Once all 3D objects have been claimed, players earn points for full sets they collected. Spheres are worth three points because they are the hardest set to collect. All the other shapes, if they are claimed with a 3D shape, score for two points. Each set completed without a 3D object will be scored for one point. The player with the most points wins. Some questions that can facilitate discussions. Which shape was the easiest to find and match? Which shapes were the most challenging? Why? How did you find a cross section? Are cross sections and bases the same? Why do you think so? Are faces and cross sections the same? Why do you think so? Which shapes have the same cross sections?